going in Solo or? I get up there. Yeah, go up there. Well, we'll do it afterwards because I have to go. Okay, right now. Well, we can't do it then because we're Right now. Go. Just stand up for it. Only takes 30 seconds. Smile. I might want to frame it. <laughs> better than that. You're going to have to be better than that. You did. It wasn't me. Give me a real smile, Christy. Not that I hate my mother's smile. <laughs> You guys ready? <laughs> that it?
Welcome to this glorious spring day and the 113th commencement of Ball State University. I'm Warren Vanderhill, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, and at this time it's my privilege to present Fritz S. Robertson, a doctoral candidate in the School of Music, College of Fine Arts, who will sing our... Honored guests, trustees, members of the faculty and administration, graduates, parents, and friends, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this 113th commencement of Ball State University. This is a most happy day and we are glad to have all of you here to share in this important occasion. It's a very special time for you who are graduating and for your families and friends, and we offer our warmest congratulations. I'm pleased now to introduce the platform party. Would you please hold your applause until all the introductions? May I present now the deans and other administrators who are seated with the graduates. <laughs> dean Margaret Marion, College of Fine Arts, and Acting Associate Dean Philip Rep. Dean Neil Palumba, College of Business, and Associate Dean John Fitzgerald. <laughs> Dean Ronald Johnstone, College of Sciences and Humanities, and Associate Dean Susan Johnson and Donald Van Meter. <laughs> Finally, it's my privilege to recognize the most honored guests here today, the graduates, and the families of the spring class of 1995. Welcome and congratulations. Well, this is the day that you and we have been looking forward to for some time, and it's a splendid day. Uh, a number of uh, staff have volunteered to take credit for the weather, and uh, so we have lots of people who are, who are uh, excited about what a great day it is. Uh, some have suggested perhaps we just videotape this commencement and play it each year in May. But it is a wonderful day and uh, we're very pleased to have all of you here. It is a day of joy and celebration. And in most respects, this has been a very good year for Ball State University. But at the same time, we've experienced some profound sadness. During the year, several students were killed or died in tragic accidents, and others were seriously injured. Our hearts go out to their families and friends. I ask you now to join me in a moment of silence in memory of each of those students who passed away this academic year. Thank you. When the settlers to the Indiana Territory first began to leave the banks of the Ohio and Wabash Rivers and venture into the woods looking for suitable farmland, they left small stone monuments along the trail to mark the distance they had traveled. These markers, called milestones, later became reference points, not only for travelers, but also for those who remained to cultivate the land often serving as boundary lines between adjoining farms. For more than 75 years, Ball State has traveled a distinguished path from private normal school to regional teachers college to major state university without losing its distinction as a place where teaching is paramount. And we can all be very proud of that. 76 years ago, the doors were open to students at the Indiana State Normal School Eastern Division. For three quarters of a century, Ball State has been a route to career achievement, success, and personal satisfaction for 114,676 alumni, more than 85% of whom are living today. 
For 76 years, the university and its graduates have traveled a path that has taken them to leadership roles in education and business, the arts, science, architecture, politics, nursing, the humanities, and every area of human accomplishment. Now it's your turn. You have persevered. You have completed your academic program, and today you join the company of scholars. While this ceremony marks a milestone for you, it's also an important occasion for the university as well because it signifies that we have fulfilled our responsibility to you. We haven't taught you everything you need to know. No one could hope to do that. But we have taught you how to learn, and we are absolutely certain that that is the most important tool you will need to survive and prosper in the 21st century. We have always desired to be the kind of university that Samuel Johnson described. At the same time, however, results from recent studies show that the public holds very different views of higher education, challenges facing higher education. The American Council on Education has recently re er, released results on cost and access to higher education and student aid, the value of a college degree, and the role of vocational skills training. Community leaders in general believe that most Americans are not as well educated as citizens other, of other nations with whom we are competing. But on the other hand, members of the general public told researchers that too many people are unsympathetic to the growing financial problems faced by many institutions. What conclusions can we We must use every forum available to explain the issues and encourage support and understanding and for your families and for your university. Today you join the, uh, the community of scholars and now we must stand together to ensure the future of higher education for your children. Over the past several years your competence has increased significantly which of course is the basis for self-confidence. In the days to come when people ask you where you developed your self-confidence you can answer proudly I earned it at Ball State. Thank you, and again, warmest congratulations. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Ball State University, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Humanities with all the rights and privileges thereunto pertaining and award you this diploma in testimony thereof and present you the academic hood for this degree. Of Columbia Academy of Family Practice. The Health Care for the Homeless Project, which you direct, operates health service facilities in 12 shelters and a mobile medical unit serving persons living in parks, honorary degrees. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Ball State University, I hereby confer upon Dr. Janelle Getches the degree of Doctor of Science with all the rights and privileges thereunto pertaining and award you this diploma and testimony thereof and present you the academic hood for this degree. Just want to say uh, very, very grateful for this award. Uh, I grew up here in Muncie, went to Ball State, and grateful the ed for the education that allowed me to carry out the dreams that uh, Ball State helped engender in me. Thank you very much. Mr. President, as promised and Vice President for Academic Affairs, I present to you those candidates who have completed all the requirements for one of the following advanced degrees, Dr. Lars, Doctor of Philosophy, and Doctor of Education. Privileges and obligations thereunto pertaining. The diplomas of the university shall forever be the testimony recognizing the very high level of intellectual accomplishment that you have attained. 
I welcome you into the angel. The candidates for the doctoral degrees will now proceed to the platform to cross as their names are called and be invested with symbols of their degrees. I admit you into the company of educated men and women. Congratulations to each of you. You may now wear your mortarboard tassels on the left side. You may be seated. Until the platform party has recessed.
first down period that way. I can't find my sister. You will stop me. Oh, the second row. Well, you're so short, that doesn't really make you any taller. I know. It's like I'm the same height as everybody else. Tell you, you were see, seeing you in one of these again because I was at your round like one. Yeah, that's blue. Yeah, it reminds me just of this. I don't know, it's just weird. Why? 